Greetings, YouTubers. It's been about 24 hours since I put the Apivar stripes in the strips in the hive, and something I've noticed. I went up, up and looked at the entrance, and I noticed some mites at the entrance of the beehive. So I'm gonna see if I can get some of that on camera here. Um, basically, show proves that the Apivar, Apivar strips worked. Yeah, let's see here. You can see all the little dots there. They're the mites, the dead mites. Bees are gonna be cleaning them all out, and maybe even if I zoom in, you can really so the little ticks of the bee, essentially. But this is just 24 hours and just, just shows you how important it is to treat for mites in your beehives. Um, best times to do it is usually August. Usually when they've, they've done studies and they found that mites are the highest in August. But, um, but not only that, I mean early spring, winter, I mean you can treat for them most of the most times of the year unless you're definitely pursuing to get some honey from your bees then you definitely want to follow the recommended guidelines and uh, know when you need to stop treating for mites but let's see here I saw some little white I think we might have some little white mites here let's see if I can get a good Look inside the hive here. Nah, it's not gonna. Actually, that little mite seems like it's little. It's moving still. It's dead. He just don't know it yet. But the strips are working. Mites are dying out and and the way I figure it around somewhere around President's Day is when I need to remove the strips. That'll be about fifty days. You need to remove them before fifty six days, so which considering that we've had pretty warm days every couple days here in North Carolina. Um, I'm thinking it will probably have some warm days in February and that will give me an opportunity to get back in here and check on the health of the bees and, and remove the strips. So, alright. Again, this is Brandon Ellis of Beeman IT. Y'all have a good one.